made. Beloved Saints, a quick answer to a question. Someone said, well, can you not talk with your hands? Because people think it's satanic, Illuminati, secret hand symbol. Okay. No. I won't stop talking with my hands. First of all, it would be disingenuous. Because who I am is who I am. I've always been passionate. I've always spoken with my hands. Uh, I've always been like big when I speak. So, no, I won't. And another thing, my accusers will say I'm making satanic eyeball symbols if I don't use my hands. Uh, just like they accuse me of being a Satanist because I have a hood on my hoodie jacket. So, when I wore my hoodie, I was a Satanist. Okay, people, yep, yeah, it does your accusers, you, you can't go around, first of all, I don't think it's anybody that's really saved that's saying these things. I think it's these lordship people that are so obsessed with sin and have not been perfected in love, so they're in fear. They're in bondage and fear, okay? And they're always looking for the devil because their focus, their mind is on the devil and evil instead of being on Christ, right? So they're going to see evil everywhere. They're unable to see it within themselves. They can't see their own flaws. They can't see how they break the laws in their thought word indeed. Even, you know, just sit yourself next to Jesus. Compare your thoughts, your words, your thoughts even, and your deeds to Jesus. And then tell me you don't sin still. So no, honey, I'm not going to change me. I don't preach, Renee. I come to you knowing nothing but Christ and him crucified, just like Paul. I lift up Jesus. I don't lift up Renee. I tell you to check everything I say against scripture. I contend for the faith once delivered unto the saints. Eternal life is a free gift. It's all based on what Jesus did. It's only the blood of Christ that has washed away all of our sin. Uh, I'll be doing videos to contend for that and for our eternal security more. Uh, but I have to do a little bit at a time. I don't wear myself out. I've, it's been less than two weeks since I've been out of surgery. So, you know, we want to, uh, uh, spiritually, I'm up there. I'm happy. But I've got to be careful. I've got to take care of my body, you know. So, I want to say, again, uh, these people, they will accuse no matter what. So, I'm not going to change myself. Uh, again, I don't preach me, so it doesn't matter. I'm not the package being preached. It's all about Jesus and being Jesus-centered and being perfected in love. It says, fear hath torment. These people walk in fear all the time. They haven't been perfected in his love. And they walk away accusing. But Satan is the accuser of the brethren. We we don't accuse the... We don't do Satan's job for him, okay? But here here's why. These people, I did a video a while back, and I used this verse to show you why people see the devil under every rock. They're not free from fear. And they don't see the joy and the goodness of anything. Oh, the wrath's coming on America. God's going to destroy this. And he's going to destroy this. He's going to spew you out of his mouth, not understanding what those verses mean. And he's this, and he's angry, and you know what? <laughs> he who believes the Son hath life. He who believes not the Son hath not life, and the wrath of God abides on him. Not on anybody trusting Christ. You know, it said that God reconciled the world to himself through what Jesus did. His wrath was poured out on Jesus. He ain't mad at you. It's just silly. They only see this. If you want to see God's character, look at Jesus. Because in him, in Jesus, dwells all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Jesus, who came in grace and truth. Oh, and his ridiculous love. Oh, his sacrificial. Mm, mm, mm. Glorious. That's God. That's our dad. As many as received him, to them gave you power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. I believe on his name. He's my savior. That's not only who he is, is what he did. And he didn't fail at his mission to save me. And I believe him. And God counts that faith for righteousness. Because I just trust in him. It says that we, we will enter into his rest. 
we cease from our own works as God did from his. That doesn't mean that we don't do any good works. It means that we've stopped working for salvation. Jesus said, come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. It's all you who are burdened with work. Because you, you can't do it. And I'm glad that God's standard is perfection. Be ye perfect for your Father in heaven is perfect. See, with, well, who could be saved? Ha! Ah, exactly. With man, it's impossible. But with God, all things are possible. See, salvation is of the Lord. Oh, man, I love the gospel. I always get to the gospel, no matter what I'm talking about. So let's bring it on back around. No, I won't stop uh, using my hands. It's me. It's who I am. Uh, and again, I, they'll accuse me. They'll accuse me of something. They accuse me of uh, that stuff back there is satanic. It's pagan because they have little birds and trees uh, saying that love should have roots deep in the ground and branches high in the heavens. They'll look for anything to because they really think they deserve salvation, but those people don't. You can't do that. Think you're safe. And really, they, they can't see their own sin. So that's why they see the devil because and, and evil everywhere. Because that's where their minds focus all the time. They haven't been perfected in love. They're in fear. They're in accusation. And there's no joy. No patience. Long-suffering. No, like, peace. You know? Man, truly saved born-again people. By faith alone and the fence of Christ alone. They're pretty joyful people. I mean, I got peace. There's nothing you can threaten me with, man. I'm like, oh, you're going to kill me? Oh, all right. Do me a favor. <laughs> I'm going right to the Lord. What, what do I got to fear? You know? Oh, de you know, death, where is thy sting? We, we don't have to fear. I mean, it's all good. You, you can't threaten a believer. We we don't have anything to fear. We got peace. I, I know I'm good. I know I don't. I mean, I'm not a good person. I'm saying I, I know I'm good. I'm in good standing. I'm in right standing with God because of what Jesus did for me. It's all him. And I would say, why, why should I let you into heaven? Well, because you died for me. You were buried and you rose again on the third day. So it's your blood that purged all my sins. That's the only reason I'm in here. I have nothing to do with me. I, I'm not good enough. My righteousnesses are as filthy rags. So why in the world would you say that and then continue to go, well, and I did my best to repent of all my sins, which is nowhere in scripture, by the way has nothing to do with it. If you want to understand what real repent means, look on my repentance series. I got a couple of them. Or go to Ralph Yankee Arnold, Tom Kakuza, Hank Lindstrom, and learn what the repent actually means in the Greek. Uh, change your mind, basically, is all it is. You can change your mind about sin, but that's not what most of the verses are saying change your mind about. It's about change your mind about what you're trusting in and trusting Christ. Repentance from dead works and a faith towards God. You know, stop trusting in dead works of the law. So, uh, you know, it's just crazy to me how many people claim to know Christ. Yet, when they, they, what would they do? I mean, would they say, well, I'm getting to heaven because you died for me and I, I stopped sinning. Really? You, you think you don't sin anymore? Well, you know, I stumble. I make mistakes. Okay, it's sin. Even the thought of foolishness is sin. What about the sins of omission? And the sins you don't know you commit. You, they used to have to do sacrifices for them. Hey, I didn't mean to do it. I didn't even know I did it. Too bad. I'm still on your account. You know? Uh, people just don't get it. They don't know how much they fall short of God's glory. They were, some pastor recently said, I'd have to try hard to sin. Oh my gosh. That guy's so deceived. Like so, I mean, The Holy Spirit reveals things deep in me that I never knew I had. But you know what? The more he shows me how I fall. Now, he's not condemning me. He's just showing me. And the more I see where I fail, the more I'm grabbing onto the cross. The more I'm trusting in God's grace. Because I see how much I fall short. See, perfection is what God requires from heaven. No sin. Zero. That's why the flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom. This thing still sins. It's the old man. That's why he said, in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. See, it, in his new man, him, he, he doesn't sin. But the old man, the flesh, oh, he finds another law. 
warring against the law in his mind, you know. So it's it's crazy to me. In any case, here's the verse that explains why they accuse anybody that's trusting only in what Jesus did or easy believe it. Why do you despise it? I don't understand it. You're saved by believing. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Uh, Peter says, uh, everyone repent and believe the gospel uh, to the Jews. Well, it doesn't mean repent of all your sins. He wasn't saying, stop sinning. Oh, so 3,000 people said, hey, God, I won't sin anymore. Yet they knew how much they said. They've been doing animal sacrifice for their sin for years. That wasn't it at all. He said, you just killed your king. You killed the promised Messiah of Israel. You killed him. You crucified him. And they said, <gasps> what? Shall we do, men and brethren? Repent. Change your mind about that. Wanting him dead. And now believe on him. Okay? Repent. Stop wanting him dead. You crucified him. You killed both Lord and Christ. So you got to look at the context of what's being said. Oh, it's just crazy to me. Here's the verse why they can't see anything but evil all the time. Always looking for evil in you and in me and sin here and sin there. They can't see the righteousness of God in Christ, the peace we have, how God sees us in his son. As he is, so are we in this world. When God sees me, when my father sees me, he sees me as spotless and blameless. Why? Because his son is in my place. See, all of the goodness of Jesus has been moved to my account as if I did it because all of my sin and filth Jesus didn't have any of that he became that sin who knew no sin so I might become the righteousness of God in Christ so even though he had no sin he became that filthy sin he became it so I get to become his righteousness I don't want to be establishing my own righteousness not having my own righteousness, which is of the law, or by works of righteousness, but it's not by works of righteousness we have done, but according to his mercy saved us by the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. So, uh, and we have that Holy Ghost when we trusted in him, we're sealed by the Holy Spirit of promise till the day of redemption. Here's why, people. This is why they see me making secret hand signals. Satanic. I'm evil. By the way, you should be looking for a prophet's fruit, their doctrine, their words, and then people that also listen to them. You know, what do they believe? What is their doctrine? And their, Okay, that's fruit. The words a false prophet speaks. What doctrine does that line up with scripture? Not what kind of hand movements they make. It's so stupid. What, I mean... I am, you, you judge it by how close I am to what the Word of God says. That's how you properly judge a preacher, okay? I am a minister, an evangelist, a minister of grace. I am a sister in Christ that ministers grace and preaches the gospel to every creature. Uh, his sons and daughters would prophesy. They would preach God's Word, good news to all. So, unto the pure... All things are pure. See, when your heart is pure and your mind is pure and it's been washed clean by the blood, you get to see God, you get to see joy, you get to see beauty in his creation. Is it in a fallen state? Yeah. Oh, man, but there's still some amazing beauty in God's creation. Can we just stop and give him some praise because he's on the throne instead of focusing on Satan all the time, all the evil and the fear? God is on the throne, people. He already won. All of that hasn't manifested in our time space yet, but he won. We're victorious. Nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Nothing. Nothing now and nothing in the future. Principalities, powers, nothing. Nothing. Okay? To the pure, all things are pure. Our hearts are pure. We've been washed clean. We focus on what is good. Keep our minds on things that are good. 
the joy. I just, it makes me crazy. People, I feel bad for these people that live like that with superstition and fear and accusing and seeing the devil everywhere and the it's just sick man unto the pure all things are pure but unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure but even their mind and conscience is defiled see we have more consciousness than sin it tells us that positionally we don't have to think that we have to keep giving animal sacrifices every year because the sins are still on our account. That's what he was talking about in Hebrews. But we shouldn't have to worry that the sin's still on our account. That's why people say you can lose salvation. Okay, so you're keeping it by what? Works. I ain't keeping it by works. It's not by works. And you bring in works? Guess what? You're going to be judged on your works and you'll be lost. You know? It's crazy. So their conscience is defiled because they don't realize or believe the truth that Jesus by himself purged our sins and set another reign of majesty on high. So they still think there's some sin on your account. Okay, what can make you lose it? Sin. Okay, but that was dealt with on the cross. That was paid for. That's not against me anymore. You remember my sins no more. Only your past sins. Okay, well then I'll just wait till I almost die and then get saved. So all my sins are covered. That's ridiculous. We are perfected forever, justified of all things, forgiving us all our trespasses. All our sins were future when he died. He's only passing. When it says the sins of the past, it's talking about sins committed by Israel before the cross. Okay? We've got to rightly divide these things. To the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their minds and conscience is defiled. So nothing's going to be pure. Even a person that loves Jesus, that tells you the real gospel and lifts you up with grace, they can't see the purity or the beauty in that. They have to see Satan in me. I'm making secret hand signals. Because to the defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. See, the unbelieving, they can't hear the beauty in this message. Nothing but Christ and him crucified. They can't see it. They can't enter into his rest. They can't just trust that what Jesus did is enough. And they're prideful, too, because they're like, no, 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 if that's true, then that guy can just keep drinking and be saved. And I'm not having that. Because they don't they, they, they don't realize they need God's grace as much. as I mean, according to God, their heart might be worse than that guy. It's as gluttony is as bad as drunkenness. So there's all kinds of things we don't realize. <laughs> and I'm in trouble because I'm overweight. But there's... A lot of things we don't even realize in our heart. Pride. Oh, pride. Religious, spiritual pride. Oh, Jesus rebuked that more than anything in the Bible. Mm, mm, mm. To the pure, all things are pure. But to the defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. Even their conscience. They, they can't see anything good. The creation. Nothing. They can't see nothing good. They can't see that God's on the throne. It's beautiful. It's He's already won. Yeah, there's going to be some bad stuff happening, but we are in Christ. We're supposed to comfort one another. You know, but they can't. They can't. They've got to see Satan everywhere. And I, I don't know how the Spirit's in them. And, and that's what's on the mind. I don't know. Something's wrong there. But, oh, no, I'm going to keep talking with my hands. I'm going to keep being Miss Renee because I don't preach me anyway. And you know good and well I'm not making no stupid satanic hand signal. If you stop anybody or pause them, you can make the hand say anything if they're talking with them. It's just silliness. Just, I mean, I feel like one of those ridiculous rumors, like when you were in the eighth grade, you told one and they told someone, and by the end it was just so ridiculous it didn't even make any sense. That's what it seems like to me. And it just, oh, God, the spiritual immaturity of this is unbelievable. People believe it. That's what's so crazy. All right, guys. I love you. God bless.